Hi everyone, my name is Lucy. Welcome to my channel, Simple Sunday Afternoons. For today's video recipe, I'm making pasteles. I'm now calling my pasteles typical, authentic Puerto Rican pasteles because they're not. Many of us have the misconception that pasteles will take all day to make, mainly because we saw our mothers and grandmothers making pasteles for holidays or special occasions in large quantities, so it will take them the entire day. I'm making pasteles for six to eight people and maybe to have some leftover for tomorrow's dinner. So please join me in my kitchen to make pasteles. Pasteles are a traditional dish in several Latin countries. It is similar to the Mexican tamale. In Puerto Rico, the pastel recipe is cherished and it is typically made during the holiday season or special occasions. Before I begin, I want to show you how the edo or yautia looks like. It is a root, sometimes it comes very long, the inside can be white or yellow and even pinkish. And this is the yuca or cassava, it's very white in the center and I have to show you how to peel this yuca. And I also going to have plantains. If you compare the plantain to a banana, this one is a lot larger. I remember that every time my mother peeled a yuca or cassava, she would always repeat the same thing. You need to peel both skins and you need to peel the yuca really good. So they look like a tree bark and you have to remove both skins making sure you don't leave little pieces behind. I have divided my ingredients in three sections. The dough, the sauce, and the filling. So these are my main ingredients to make pasteles. And for the main ingredients for the dough, I'm going to be using five green plantains, which I cut in small little pieces so they can fit through the grinder. One pound or 492 grams of pumpkin, also cut in small little pieces. One pound and 11 ounces or 780 grams of jautia one pound or 463 grams of yuca or cassava, two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of annatto seed oil, and two tablespoons or 13 grams of salt, more or less. These are the main ingredients for the dough. Now on my left side hand I have the ingredients for the filling. I'm using one pound and ten ounces or 765 grams of lean ground pork. You can use turkey, veal or lean ground beef. One dice red bell pepper. one ounce or 30 milliliters of annatto seed oil and you can use olive oil as well one cup or 40 grams of dry cranberries and you can use raisins if you prefer five mashed garlic cloves one and one quarter of an ounce or 34 grams of tomato paste 
one half of a cup or thirty eight grams of cilantro, one diced large onion, and this half of a cup of olive oil belongs to the sauce. And for the rest of the sauce ingredients, I'm going to be using about 20 whole black peppercorns, two bay leaves, one small diced onion, two cans of 14 ounces each or 397 grams each of cranberry sauce and one cup or 237 milliliters of white vinegar. I also going to be using parchment paper and I'm using the kind that I purchase when I'm decorating a cake. I'm also going to be using green banana leaves, which I boiled for about 20 minutes. Boiling the banana leaves will make them softer and easy to handle, in addition that it will cure from any insect and disinfect the leaves. Our mothers or grandmothers used to burn them over the stove to make them softer. We're also going to need kitchen twine to tie the wrapped pasteles. I'm going to be using the meat shredder attachment for my mixer to shred all of the vegetables. And you can go ahead and shred them all mixed together because they're going to have to be mixed together anyways. Once you have shred the vegetables, add some salt and some annatto oil. At this point, some people prefer to add some evaporated milk and some broth, either from the meat they have cooked to add to the pasteles or add some beef broth or chicken broth. Although don't add too much liquid because then you will lose the consistency of the dough. So add the liquids in small portions. Now to start preparing the filling, I'm going to saute the onions in a small amount of olive oil. And I'm going to add the garlic, followed by the red bell pepper and the tomato paste. I'm mixing well together. And then I'm going to add the cilantro. And because this is my own recipe, I'm going to add cranberries. If you don't like cranberries or prefer raisins, you can go ahead and use raisins. That is the traditional way of making pasteles. I'm going to cook this sofrito for about 5 minutes and then I'm going to remove it from this saucepan because I want to use the pan to cook the meat. Now that the pot is empty, I'm going to add the meat and I'm going to brown it. And as previously said before, you can use ground turkey, ground veal, or ground beef, as long as a lean meat. Add some salt and cook it until it's completely brown. Once it's brown, then I go ahead and add the sofrito to the meat. And I'm going to lower the temperature to medium and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
Now for the assembly of the pasteles. I already have done a couple of them. Lay your parchment paper on a flat working surface and then place a piece of the banana leaf, if you have them, in the center of the paper. Then I'm going to brush the anato oil. If you don't have the anato oil, then you can use olive oil. The anato oil will bring some color to the dough or the masa. So I'm going to be putting a big tablespoon on the banana leaf and I'm spreading it so I can put some meat in the center. And then I'm going to top a second layer of the dough on top of the meat and spread it to cover the meat. Yes, I know other people do it differently. They just take one layer of the dough, place the meat and then fold the banana leaf over. But this is my way of doing a pastel. Now I'm going to fold the parchment paper. Roll it all the way to the center and then tuck the corners or the edges towards the center. Now I'm taking about 20 inches of kitchen twine and I'm going to wrap it around the pastel, making like a little gift. Tie a knot or a bow and you can tie two pasteles together if you want or prefer. Cover completely the pasteles with water, add plenty of salt, cover lower the temperature to medium and let it simmer for an hour and a half. Now to prepare the special cranberry sauce, I'm going to saute the onions in a small amount of olive oil. Then I'm going to add the white vinegar, the peppercorn, the two bay leaves, and the olive oil, and let it boil. Once this mixture is boiling, then I'm going to add one of the cans of the cranberry sauce. I'm adding one of the two cranberry sauce to the mixture, and then once it's boiling, after 10 or 15 minutes, I let it cool and add the second can. Now it's time to unwrap the pasteles. Remove the twine. Unwrap the pastel on top of the serving plate. And then we're going to spread some of the cranberry sauce over the pastel. And this is close to perfection. I hope you like this recipe and that you're willing to break the rules once in a while. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more recipes like this one. I hope to see you soon and thanks for watching.